Do you want to learn to hit the Tiger Woods famous stinger shot? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are, right, back at Luton Hoo on the range. We are going to discuss how to best to hit that flighted stinger shot. For firstly, when would we hit it? Hit this when you're nervous. Hit this when you just want to get it running down the fairway. You want to keep it out of the air. You want it to carry less, but you want it to carry some momentum to roll as far as possible. So I've got my two iron here, my PXG X iron. For me, a really, really versatile club that's gonna help me do this. I'll take you through a normal two iron, and then we'll talk about the differences to hit that flighted bullet that we wanna hit. So, normal two iron. Everyone always asks me, ball position, distance from the ball. I don't go that deep, right? Sand wedge to seven iron or lob wedge to seven iron, somewhere near the middle of your sternum, assuming things are neutral. If you wanna adjust flight of the ball, you are gonna build it off that. As I move up the bag, six iron, five iron, four, and all the way through to driver, I'm gonna move it probably a quarter of an inch up. Don't go too deep. So two iron, we're probably looking at two inches or so forward of center, right? So I'd aim the face square where I want the ball to go, assuming I'm gonna hit a neutral goal shot here. I'm gonna play the ball forward slightly, but probably, you know, two or three inches forward of center in my stance. People say, do you go wider or more narrow? I go slightly wider, but you know, just like a long iron width, nothing too crazy. Distance from the ball is the same as all every other club. I like to have my hands in a nice hanging position from my shoulder joint. From here, this is a normal two iron setup. I don't do anything different. As John Daly would say, just make a sandwich swing. Okay, try and keep everything the same and make a normal swing. This would be a normal two iron. And that two iron for me carries about 235 to 240, and but it's quite high off a tee. You know, I'm gonna use that maybe into long par three greens or when I don't want too much run. Now the fun stuff, let's hit the, the bullet, okay? The, the, the stinger shot. So let's think about what has to happen to hit the stinger shot. Very simply, right? The ball flight has to come down, but we still wanna maintain a good level of speed. So the dynamic loft on the golf club, which is the loft of the club at impact needs to be less than that shot. And we do that by, you know, adjusting two main things. Attack angle will definitely be steeper on this shot. So we're gonna hit down more. And we're definitely gonna have slightly more handle lean than a normal shot, okay? So we can make some adjustments in our setup. And for me, I'll just make one adjustment in my intention to hit this shot. It's not as complicated as people think. The one thing we can't do with this shot is start to add loft, okay? So what I'm trying to feel for me in terms of ball position, I'm just gonna play it pretty much middle. But know this, when we play it further back, we hit down more and the path will naturally want to shift more into out. That's something called divergence playing, which would be a totally different video. So you're more likely to hit blocks and hooks with this shot, depending on your release pattern. So what I would always do is aim slightly further to the left. So I'd play the ball back and aim my body slightly further to the left to encourage my intention to go further left. But because I'm hitting down, it will neutralize everything, whatever. So. Ball position slightly back, aim slightly to the left. I'm gonna put my weight slightly, 60% on my left side. Now for me, what I try and feel is I keep my weight on my left side and through the ball, I wanna cover the ball with my ribs or my belly button and just abbreviate my follow through. Like I'm just trying to throw a ball forward this way. I'm not trying to throw it high, I'm trying to throw it forward, okay? So I'm really getting the sensation for me that I turn my ribs onto the ball and the palm of my right hand faces down. That's literally all I do. So set the ball up, play it middle, aim slightly left, put the weight slightly further forward. We're gonna drive down and abbreviate the follow through and just cover it. That's come out head height, probably gonna carry about 210 yards, but it's gonna run like crazy. I use that a lot when I'm nervous. I use that a lot in Lynx golf, and it's just a good way of keeping the ball in play. The sensation I have and why I like it so much is if you do it correctly and you drive the club this way, you almost feel like the club face is not twisting at all. You feel like it's almost staying at the target for a really, really long time. So we'll do one more, same process. Aim the face where we want the ball to go. Slightly to the left, ball in the middle. Lean to the left, keep your weight on the left, cover it and abbreviate the follow through. Same shot, low bullet. And that is how you hit a stinger.